Next week we have gravel going in this area for a nice parking pad storage for my trailers. I use the skid steer with a dozer blade to kind of do a rough grade and really change the slope. Water was pooling in this area. It was also an old burn pit from the previous owner. And so kind of grading it all so it'll all slope down that way. And we've had several rains since then and it's, it's washing just the way that it should. Um, I wanted to get just a final grade now with the landscape rake and it's nothing. You can still see there's little areas that uh, the grass is actually still sticking through. Nothing that's a deep, you know, grade that's going on here. Uh, most of it's just light and kind of leveling it out, smoothing it out. And the landscape rake, this is my first time using gauge wheels on a landscape rake. I've had a lot of folks give me their feedback and say they work great. I had never used it, but this was a good application because we didn't want to dig down super deep. And the gauge wheels are adjustable. They have shims. You can put the shims above or below and that'll control how aggressive, um, part of the way, as to how aggressive that rake will cut. But you think of the term rake and you don't think of grading so much, more just like a cleanup tool, like a collection tool, but um, we've used it on our driveway to, to grade out uh, the gravel. We've used it in this application, other trail maintenance types of things where it's smooth and levels as well as cleaning things up. So a really handy tool. They're, they're pretty lightweight. Um, you can kind of manhandle them on and off yourself. Uh, if you bend a tie you can replace a tie they're cheap to do. Everything just bolts together and you can buy it with or without the gauge wheels and, and then bolt those on down the road. The rakes will angle left or right if you want to. Today I felt like just keeping it straight and, and seeing how it did. Now we're using a John Deere 1025R which is a subcompact tractor. I wasn't really sure how the 72 inch rake would do on it. I thought it would probably be okay because it's not a super heavy duty ground engaging tool, but 72 inches is pretty wide uh, on a subcompact tractor. So I, I think if we had a heavier load, like say we were spreading gravel on a new driveway, didn't have the gauge wheels on there. And so that rake could really load up with gravel. I think it would probably stop it in its tracks and be too big. So, you know, normally I would recommend a 60 inch rake on the 1025R, but the downside is with the 60 inch rake, you can't run the gauge wheels on there. So anyway, that's why we're doing what we did today. The other downside with a subcompact tractor in general is they don't have a lot of lift height on the three point hitch. And so I'm raising this thing up as high as it'll go and it's barely getting the rake off of the ground. Part of that's just the design because the rake has tines that go down quite a ways. And so you have to lift it that much more to get those tines above the ground. It's just the physics that are working in. And, and the situation here, if I had uh, the John Deere 2038R, we would have no issue getting that well above the dirt piles that are at the end there where it was kind of trying to turn a certain way to not completely obliterate the dirt piles that I had going on. Folks, we are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden. We're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of rim guard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze and it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at rimguardsolutions.com. Now I will say mirrors. I use these mirrors constantly today uh, to see how that was doing. I wanted to track to make sure I wasn't um, missing my overlap on my lanes there without having to look behind me constantly. Use it against the building as well to make sure I wasn't going to whack that too. So these mirrors came in super handy. We're actually going to get restocked on these really soon. They're in transit to us now and we'll be having mirrors available for sale again on our website, goodworkstractors.com. But this overall job was super quick. We did this whole area in like 11 minutes, <laughs> uh, super easy. Obviously I still have to clean up the dirt piles at the end and I may, there's a couple spots where there's almost a little windrow. I may clean up some of those and then right near the building, I, I still need to peel some dirt away from there, just scoop it out with a shovel and then probably hit it one more time with a rake right along the building. But still, I mean, say I've got 20, 25 minutes in this, uh, clean it up for the final grade. We're gonna put fabric down, okay? The, the geotextile, the road fabric, and then stone is coming in next week for this and I can't wait getting my trailers on here kind of behind the building, they won't be a, an eyesore anymore and just uh, a good spot for them. And then we're gonna work on the next phase. We're gonna build a whole turnaround all the way around the barn. That's the last phase of my road and gravel project. And then it's, it's all done and uh, well, it's almost October. We're gonna get done before the snow flies this year.
I got these on here for a reason. Okay, I thought about putting the bucket on, but these are our VersaForks, all right? And what makes these a bit different from others on the market are the fact that not only can they mount on your front end loader quick attach, but they can also mount on your three point hitch or on a quick hitch on the back as well. So this right here is a, a top link and then buried back here are two lower links. So you can pop this thing off if you wanna put something on the front like a grapple or a bucket or whatever else and still put your pallet forks in the back and maybe put a, a pallet on there and carry along some supplies or whatever else, like, whatever else you wanna do. Um, or say you don't have a loader and you just have a three point well, you can get these and mount them on there as well. Not only that, but we've got the built-in two-inch receiver. We have uh, chain hooks on here as well. We've got a built-in weight rack, so you can put suitcase weights on here if you want. You know, if they're on the three-point, you want an extra weight on there, you put it there. If, maybe if you have a brush hog on the back and, and you want extra weight on the front, you hang some suitcase weights here just to counteract that. Whatever, you have options there, uh, things to think about and give more versatility. They're called VersaForks, coming out the soonest for the John Deere Quick Attach. I'm gonna follow that up with the Skid Steer Quick Attach version as well. The difference with the Skid Steer Quick Attach is that the three point is going to bolt on, all right? There's no way to have it welded on because a, a Skid Steer Quick Attach plate is a big flat plate that's here and it just interferes with the three point configuration. So it will be bolt on, but we're gonna try to make that a, like a quick pin bolt on so that it's, um, you know, you quickly take it out and off and so it's not a cumbersome process and still gives you that flexibility. So folks, there you go. Not every project is a long, tedious one. This one went, it was a piece of cake. It really was. I mean, I love doing this kind of stuff that's super easy and it's simple. So get your landscape rake from goodworkstractors.com. We ship these all over the country every day of the week. We've got a rake to fit your tractor, 60, 72, 84, 96 inches wide. Whatever you need, we got it. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.